Hope you're all having a wonderful chilly morning. I'm Dallas. And as always, I'm Nate. Sit back and listen up because your DP News starts now. Our ASB officers have an important message for you. Guys, what's going on? Hello, it's your ASB officers here, and we have a very special announcement for you. Just in case you guys didn't see all the signs around school, more is officially happening. On Woo! April 18th from 9 to 11 in the cafeteria. Woo! That's next Friday, so be sure to get your tickets next week. So, see, see you there! there. As you can see, next Friday is MORP happening here at DP. So bring your glow sticks, your pacifiers, and your neon shirts. If you're interested in being a part of International Day, there's a mandatory meeting in H30 from 12 to 1 p.m. If you have any questions, please go talk to Ms. Rehage in the counseling office. Hey DP, it's Belle Lafferty, one of your social awareness commissioners. I wanted to let you guys know that there's a mandatory club meeting for all clubs today in H30 at lunch, regardless of whether or not you're participating in International Day. Uh, we're going to go over contact information and paperwork for International Day, so please be there if you can. Thank you. We're getting close to the end of the year. Senior activities and graduation are coming up, so if you have any debt, such as library debt, PE debt, or business office debt, you will not be able to purchase your prom tickets. Go to the business office, library, and PE office if you have to get rid of any debt that you have. Are you planning on going to SBCC after graduation? If so, sign up for the bus driving to orientation that takes place April 18th. Last day to sign up will be April 15th. To anybody that was lucky enough to attend STN 2014, you know who you are. Cheyenne Yang needs your help. If you have any group photos from STN, please send them to her as soon as possible. You could send the photos to cyang15 at dpnews.org. This week is committed week. Committee Week is a campaign to change the way we think about underage drinking and our social norms. There will be an assembly during the third period tomorrow in the EPAC and also an event going on in the Greek during lunch. The Act Out Loud campaign is a teen-run campaign centered on provo promoting safe driving for teens. Did you know that in 2012 alone, 3,328 people were killed in distracting driving at car crashes? This includes texting, talking, drinking, shaving, putting on makeup, and so much more. Come out during lunch to take the pledge against distractive driving and dunk your favorite teachers tomorrow at lunch. Want to be a lifeguard this summer and earn $11 to $13 per hour hanging out by the pool? Come to the Career Center for more information on working for the City of Santa Barbara as a lifeguard. Also available are community service hours in music technology, unpaid internships with the food bank, and volunteering at Earth Day. There's a Beautify DP happening this Saturday, April 12th from 9 to 12. There are only two more Beautify DPs left. Sign-ups will be held outside Ms. Stone's office. Two hours of Beautify DP are required for NHS, so jump on it. Well, Chargers, that's everything we have for you today. See you on the flip side. Let's check in with John Herrera with your sports news. Yesterday, our boys tennis team headed down to Ventura for a league match on their courts. Our boys continued their undefeated streak with a 16-2 win. In singles, we took 7-9 sets thanks to Patrick Corpus, Miles Baldwin, and Quinn Hensley. In doubles, we swept and were led by Mason Cassidy and Joshua Wang, who didn't lose a game. We improved our record to 10-0 overall and 4-0 in league. Great job, guys. Last night, our boys' baseball team traveled down to the USC field for a non-league game against Harvard-Westlake. Our boys struggled against the number one team and lost by a score of 8-2. to two. Our boys are 7-9 and nine overall and 2-1 and one in league. Also yesterday, boys' volleyball went to Santa Barbara to play a league game in their gym. Our boys were handed their first league loss with a close 16-25, 25-20, 26-24, and 25-19 loss. Nate Holmes led our team with 14 kills and Matt Sessler with 9 and Curtis Rama with 8. Our boys are now 4-1 in league. Today, lacrosse has the first ever lacrosse game on DP campus. Our boys play at 4 o'clock, so be sure to go out to the football field at 4 o'clock to support. 
Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John from DP News. Have a good day, DP.